Hello, Vinyl Community. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is well. Playing Miles Davis, Sorcerer in the background. Excellent album. I'm here with the vinyl update and this will be my 10th video. I just recently traded for some stuff and found some things in the dollar bins that I thought was a uh, must have for myself. So I'd like to share that with you and uh, just want to mention that today is Sunday. It's the afternoon. It's Texas and it's very hot, hot, hot. But I've always loved it. I'm from and born here in Texas, so I'm used to it. Anyway, let's begin with some of these uh, cool things that I found. First of all, I'll show you a couple of things that I've been playing uh, this week, this week, weekend. One thing is uh, I really have come to enjoy this album. It's uh, Hubert Laws, Romeo and Juliet. Really, really, really nice and great music. Hubert Laws. He blows me away. He's very, very good. And this is a really good album. It has musicians like Steve Gadd and Andy Newmark on drums, Eric Gale, and uh, Bob James. So it's really, really a good album. I recommend it. Another thing I was playing uh, today, this morning, I broke out a Miles Davis album. Seven Steps to Heaven on Columbia Records. As you can tell that where I got it from or from the flea market, uh, um, the seller had bought a bunch of uh, albums from a library, library, excuse me, and uh, he had some really good uh, pricing on some of this stuff. and. Uh, only paid a few dollars for this album it's it's in pretty good shape I mean it crackles a little bit but I still enjoy it it's on the nice red Columbia label really nice record I'm another record with uh, some great musicians on this one uh, Herbie Hancock, George Coleman, Ron Carter, Ron Carter, excuse me. Good stuff. Now, before I begin on these next few albums, couple couple of records that I, some of, like I said, I mentioned it, that that I traded for. Um, one thing I want to share is I am new to a lot of these prog rock bands that I've been picking up and kraut rock bands it's only been like maybe three to four years so I guess I'm really considered a newcomer or a baby boomer to these bands when I was young I thought prog rock stopped at Pink Floyd Genesis and then and that's where I stayed I stayed there and like a shell and since I've been in the vinyl community I see whoa doors open and there's other great bands out there that I personally never knew existed. So these new two records that I found that I traded for are reissues and I love this band and I hope that I say the name right but they are records by Guru Guru this right here you know I'm not sure what uh, I think okay this one is called UFO so I traded for this it was at my record shop and I said yes I'm gonna come back and bring some stuff to trade for the for this and the other one that I got of them I like I like this inside photo solid good album I wasn't expecting this so it was nice that it was on this nice kind of blue light blue marble vinyl 
excellent album. I highly recommend this record. It's just one that I was for a while, and I still am playing it over and over, and being amazed by this by this band. Another one that I traded for in a Hinton reissue. Such a great album too. I'm trying to look on here. I really like side two. I like both sides. Side two I played a lot. It has tracks like uh, Bo Diddley and Spaceship. Great stuff. Another one too. That was the nice red vinyl. I don't know if I have a favorite color, but I do really dig red vinyl. So, like I said, still learning about crop rock bands and prog rock bands. And uh, these two I saw and I was really surprised. I was like, whoa, they have these? So, Guru Guru, I recommend that. Great band. This next one is a gift from my wife. And I'm a fan of Hans Zimmer. And this is the soundtrack to the movie, The Dark Knight Rises. Really good stuff on this album. I'll show one of the records. I was surprised too that it's also a colored vinyl. This one has a photo of Batman. So there it is. Nice blue swirly marble. The other one has a is the same color and it it has a photo of uh, the character Bane. Good stuff. There's the inside cover. So Hans Zimmer. And this was a gift from my wife. It's really cool. Good stuff. Now this next band, I want to say this about them. The way I found out about this band, I was working in a warehouse and this guy that was working there say hey Ed I know you like Pink Floyd and some other bands he knew I liked and he let me borrow this CD and he said check this band out I think you might like them too and it was a CD Gentle Giant Three Friends and I was blown away and I was like yes and when a, a new band to me but this was more further back like maybe I don't know 10 years but I got into this band Gentle Giant I'm happy that I found this and this is their what they say the official live Gentle Giant album playing the fool and it's in really good shape I mean the cover are worn but the records themselves they're in real good shape I haven't got a chance to spin this yet now I did have this on uh, iTunes so I had it in my rotation a lot but the records are really nice shape now here's one I'll show one I haven't got a chance to clean it but it's the orange capital records which I like the orange capital record label I mean a lot of my early Beatle albums were orange capital so glad to have that in my gentle giant collection the next one it may not be a new record but I had it once before and I'm glad to have it again and it is Paul McCartney's give my regards to Broad Street I like the movie and I like the the music on this but it, it's got a cool label in the middle of the album give my regards to Broad Street really a good movie I, it seems kind of rather long but I like it I like the music I like that everything seems to flow and go well for this uh, movie so glad to have McCartney's give my regards to Broad Street I really like the way he, uh, I don't know what's the word, reprised or brought back and did uh, 
songs like uh, Silly Love Songs and the Eleanor Rigby, Eleanor Rigby's Dream, The Long and Winding Road. And I believe if you have this on CD, I think it's longer than the LP. But the other one, I was glad to find this one, another one favorite band of mine. Really hard one to find in somewhat good condition. But I was able to find this one. It's a little worn out, but at least it has the silver part, even though it looks messed, kind of messed up. And that's Uriah, Uriah Heap, Look at Yourself. It's on the old school red or orange looking Mercury Records. So I was glad to find that. I didn't pay very much for it. So, another good find. Now, these other last few records I have here to show are my, what I found in clearance bins, dollar bins. And uh, these were nice. Some of them I've never heard. I mean, I remember the albums coming out. I might have heard the one hit or saw the one video of the, of the, the songs that were released from these records. Well, some of them, not all of them. One that, uh, it's my first time, I haven't played it yet, but it, it is uh, Philip Bailey's Chinese Wall album. It was in a clearance. So, so, pick it up. The lyrics are on the other side. So the hit that I heard from this one, of course, I'm sure we all have, and that's Easy Lover, duet with Phil Collins. So I haven't got to hear the whole album yet. A good deal on it, so it came home with me. The uh, This is another album I remember seeing as a kid, and I saw it. It's in really good shape. And I'm not sure how, I say, how you say this guy's name, but I used to get it confused with the Marty Ballin of uh, Jefferson Airplane Starship. But it's uh, One Night with a Stranger, Martin Braley. I like this album cover. I think I even remember as a kid when it first came out. So another one that I found on the clearance bin. Really, really nice shape. It's on the Mercury Records label. I only got to hear side one, and I, I like what I heard. It's, it's a good record. Another one I found in a clearance bin is a James Taylor album. I think I had someone made me a CD of this album, or I borrowed and I made me a copy of it. But it's James Taylor's uh, Never Die Young. I like this album. I think it's one of his pretty solid records. I like the, cut, the inner sleeve. And it's in really, really good shape. Red Columbia. So I was glad to find that one. I came home with me. One buck, yeah, and I've you know I'm I'm familiar with this album. I haven't heard it in a while, so just gonna put that down. <laughs> Sometimes they don't go back in. Sometimes these records don't go back in the way they pull them out. So this last record that I found, this artist is British. He was uh, also an actor. I'm not sure how you say his last name, so I know I'm going to say it wrong. But uh, he, all the songs have different flavors to them. He sounds like McCartney, he sounds like the Beatles, then he sounds like 10CC, and then he does, you know, he, 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 he has a really pretty good voice. He's a really talented writer. And... The other thing that drew me into it that it was a promotional only record so usually 
and those are pretty cheap. I'll pick them up. But the album is called Pickup. And the artist is Brian Protheo Row or something like that. P R O T H E R O E. And I'll show you a little closer. It's really cool. It says promotional, not for sale. It's not a bad record. It's a little bit warped, but it plays fine. You know, I mean, you don't hear that warp sound or that sound like it's, you know, I don't know how to describe. I'm sure that it's kind of like noisy, but it's really not a bad album. He made several records. I, I was surprised. I, um, excuse me for a moment. I uh, have a few notes. This album came out in 1975. He's an English musician and actor. Oh, and on this album, a uh, few of the members of Jeffro Toe are on it, like Ian Anderson, and I think it's uh, Barrymore Barlow, Barlow, were on this record, and some other people too. But yeah, they uh, help him out on this album, and it's, it's not a bad record. I mean, for a buck, yeah. Promo? Cool. The next thing came home with me. Well, that's it for now, folks. And uh, I'm sure I'll be doing another vinyl update. I just want to say thank you to those who uh, subscribe and take time to watch my silly little videos. I appreciate the comments. Um, I appreciate learning from others videos of other musician artists and all types of genres of music and uh, so thanks again uh, hope everyone has a nice upcoming week be safe out there be aware of your surroundings the world's getting crazier but uh, that's it for now and see you next time